welcome back to my channel my name is Monet better known as Miss Creative Diva today I wanted to come you guys I literally have not done makeup in like almost four weeks like four weeks so I wanted to come and just kind of play around in a few things um I don't know really where I'm going with this look just to be honest so you guys are just gonna go with this ride with me but I am trying a few products um I think today I'm gonna wear um some Morphe products. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and play with this foundation again. Um, if you have not checked out my last video, make sure you guys do. Um, I will link it somewhere in the video for you guys. And yeah, and before we start, just make sure to go ahead and stop and subscribe. Make sure you go ahead and tap that bell as well. So that way you guys can be notified for any updates, any posts, anything that I do. And so yeah, if you guys are interested, let's go ahead and get started. you guys so we are going to start by applying my moisturizer and today i am taking the pixie skin treats this is their h2o skin drink moisturizer i think it's really really good it is gel formula so it's really nice for someone who is oily um, i'm then going to go in with my face primer from laura mercier um definitely love this primer this is their pure canvas primer and I'm just going to pat that into the skin. And this is a great blurring primer for those who are looking for something a little more natural. Um, also, it is um, minimal silicone in it, um, I believe. So yeah, there's no silicone, which is number one reason why I love this product. And so my goal was to keep this video sort of drugstore mainly. I tried you guys, like some products I'm just stuck on. Um, but today we're going to be using the Morphe foundation again. And you guys are probably going to get tired of it, but she loves the coverage. So this definitely will be a product that will be used in a few tutorials coming up. All right, next I wanna go in with my cover cream and this is in Chroma 5 Olive Brown. I really get a lot of questions in regarding this product. Um, you guys, I love it. Um, it definitely covers if you have like scarring from acne, just scars in general. Um, you know, it definitely helps. Um, and so definitely check them out. I believe they may have rebranded the formula or rebranded the color, I believe, I'm sorry. So next I'm going to go in and apply my highlights. So yes, I'm loving the skin first, y'all. Let me know what you guys think. So for the highlight, I'm using Caramel from CoverGirl, and then I'm mixing it with the Morphe Concealer as well. For the contour, keeping it drugstore, yes. I am. I feel like I got to give myself a pat on the back because y'all don't realize it'd be a struggle for me to use sometimes all drugstore products. Like it really is. Um, because I just conscious, unconsciously, I'm sorry, grab for just things that I normally use in my regular everyday life or regimen. Um, so today I'm using, um, the shade number three, and this is the Juvia's Place Concealer. And I really like this to contour. Um, you guys know I love a cream, but due to it getting a little warmer outside, even though we are not going out at the moment, um, I think that if you have oily skin or Anytime you have acne prone skin, sometimes it's a lot better to work with liquids. And so I'm just going to use this angle brush and kind of press that into the skin and make sure it's blended out. So you guys, this is my first time kind of trying these brushes. I um, definitely like it so far. I'm then going to go back in with a little bit of that Morphe concealer, focusing it on the first portion of the under eye area just to kind of hide any circles, um, darkness, or anything like that. Now, it's not going to cover and hide lines I think a lot of people that is like the biggest misconception with applying highlight or concealer when you highlight something and you add a lighter shade it's definitely going to add and provide more attention underneath that eye so you definitely want to make sure you're setting it 
And so for the powder, I am using the Beauty Bakery flower and this is going to be in the shade plantain and then I also went in with my Laura Mercier underneath the eyes and before I do that I'm just pressing that foundation into the skin to make sure everything is blended and I'm just using my beauty blender you guys I love this it's super inexpensive Next, we're going to go in with this bronzer, you guys. This is from Morphe as well. Um, this is going to be in the shade Leader. Let me tell you, like, lately I have been going super crazy with, like, trying to find, like, the perfect blushes for brown skin and deeper skin complexions. They serve a purpose, and they are a little bit different, although we kind of, you know, put them in the same category. Um, but bronzers are going to warm the skin up as opposed to contour shades, which will be a lot more cooler. That's going to add like the shadow and stuff like that. Um, bronzer still adds the shadow, but it's a lot more warmer, um, which is why you see me going for like more richer shades. And so I patted in my P. Louise base in the shade two. I did mix it with um, a little bit of that CoverGirl concealer to kind of tone it down. Um, I am waiting on my other shades. I ordered some darker shades, and you guys, that shipping takes freaking forever. Um, so, yeah. And so, I'm going in with this beautiful turquoise color, and I am using um, a palette from Makeup Is My Life Cosmetics, and it's going to be their rainbow palette. All right, so I'm just taking this Morphe eyeshadow brush and you guys, I'm going to try to start listing the brushes and I have a video for you guys because um, I did a poll and you guys wanted to know what my favorite brushes are, so definitely stay tuned. I'm then gonna go into the same palette, take this sky blue color and I'm gonna try to put the eyeshadow palette in the video so you guys can see what colors I use. And then I'm gonna go on top of that and add this beautiful green eyeshadow just for the transition. And I'm just gonna slightly just blend that out. And I am making sure to not blend so much of the color out. And so the technique is just pretty much patting that into the eye, not so much as to blending it in circular motions. All right, you guys, so next I'm going to go and just start cutting my crease. Um, originally, I started with applying the base and noticed that it was not going to be as clean and I probably wasn't gonna get the best payoff. So what I decided to do is try this technique that's going around. People are using like Vaseline, microcellular water and stuff like that. I think I'm gonna try it with the microcellular water with a brush next time as opposed to using a Q-tip because honey, that was a mess and it was just so much work that honestly was not needed. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try it again in the next video when we do a colorful look again. But I'm just taking my cut crease brush and applying that base. You guys, I was really honestly struggling <laughs> with this um, cut crease. Like I don't know what it was. I was struggling like trying to get it perfect, but we did it.
all right you guys so i'm gonna take that blue color and i'm gonna apply that on the outer v of the eye and i'm just trying to make sure everything looks nice it's crisp so i'm just gonna go in make sure to kind of pat that eyeshadow in with my blending brush um, you guys can use whatever brush that you feel comfortable with using. I just use the blending because it just seems to be easier that way for me and less work. Now we're going to use that baby blue eyeshadow that I used right above the crease. And I'm just going to pack that on the lid and I'm mixing the beginning portion with a white. And then I'm going to go in with a secondary blue. And I'm just adding a little bit of black eyeshadow in the crease just to kind of darken it up and just add that definition. All right, you guys, so next I'm going to go in with this pigment, and I'm going to put it down below. Um, it's going to be from the same company that the eyeshadow palette is from, and so I used a few shades, um, and so I'm using, like, this really gorgeous pigment, and I'm applying that on the inner corner as well as focusing that on the beginning portion of the crease. And then we're just going to go into eyeliner. I am applying my eyeliner first before I apply my glitter. So that way I can just have in mind the shape that I'm going for. Um, also, so that way I know where I want to apply the glitter. Um, I didn't want to cover the lid completely, but I did want to add, you know, some sparkle. But at the same time, I wanted you to be able to see the eyeshadow underneath. So I tried to find a color that was super um, close. And so I mixed a few glitters and it's going to be um, and you guys I was struggling I ain't even gonna lie I should have used a different brush but I wanted to add like a color liner in my lower waterline um, I don't know I could have swore I had like a colorful liner what for those of you who do wear colorful liners who are your favorite companies like I'm trying to find some and I used to have some like I literally had like some blue and stuff like that I may just need to go on to NYX and just get a few like that because this one burnt so much like I was having some recording issues like it was just crazy but it turned out really really pretty um I did decide just to add a little bit of that blue underneath just to kind of you know make it flow with the eye and then I added a little bit of black on the outer portion Okay, so for the lip, I am taking this lip pencil from Makeup Is My Life Cosmetics. And then I actually mix it with a shade called Bar from Morphe. And so I'm going to use those, y'all. It was just, my pencil sharpener was eating the first pencil up like crazy. So I have to find a new sharpener. Like, I really, really do hate when I have lip pencils and just pencils in general. And my, my pencil sharpener just does not work on them. So...
So you guys, I was really unsure of what type of lip I was going for. So I did go in and play with the Colored Rain lip color. Now I do not remember this shade. If I can find it, I will put it down below. Um, I know it was like one of the peachy nudes um, that they have. And so I am just applying that and then I'm gonna go on top of it with a few lip glosses. Yes, I said a few. So the first one that I use is gonna be from my Boo Jazzy Baptist. Um, and I cannot find it right now, but I'll definitely list it down below for you guys. Um, it's this one. It matched the lipstick perfectly, um, but I was just needing something like a little bit lighter just to give me that extra, mm. Alright you guys, so I ended up wiping some of the color off because I wanted more of like a fleshy tone nude gloss look if that makes any sense. You guys, I was all, I was really all over the place. <laughs> like I'll be having a look in my images, yeah, I just be like on and off about it. But I'm going to go in with a um, the same lip gloss and then I'm going to add a NYX gloss on top of it. And then I'm just going to mattify my face and I'm taking that matte powder from Urban Decay. Yeah, y'all see that? Y'all, I will say that overall I am happy about the look. At first I was just, did not know where I was really going with it. Um, I literally had a different look in mind, so you guys saw it I feel like I do the best looks when I'm like I have this look but then I'm kind of playing around a little bit um, and I just gotta trust myself hmm so this is the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of sort of get ready with me I don't even know what I'm gonna call it but um, this is like the first time I didn't put makeup on in like almost four weeks. So, enjoy kind of dabbling. Um, I have some new products coming. Uh, I can't wait to share with you guys. It turned out a lot better than what I thought. Um, I originally was going to go with a another look. You know, feeling the springtime vibe. And I thought that this would be perfect. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this sort of get ready with me type video. Not sure what I'm going to call it. But before you leave, go ahead and stop and take a second. Tap that bell to be notified for my next video. And subscribe. And, y'all, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.